Hello Pisces, it's your girl Sacred144 Tarot. I'm here for another reading for Pisces placements. You can have Pisces anywhere in your chart. Keep in mind that this reading is general and timeless, so just take what resonates and leave what doesn't for that next Pisces. We have so much Venus energy. So just as a quick like collective update, as far as the collective energy, we have Venus, and now Venus won't be directly squaring Pluto for the half of the month, but we do have Venus squaring Pluto, and then the full moon is in Libra on the 16th, that is Venus ruled squaring Pluto. So Venus squaring Pluto, Pluto's the eighth house, darkness, obsession, all that fun stuff. Venus is love, right? So... When it comes to Aries season, there is a lot of shadow work going on. There's a lot of clearing. Again, whatever's cleared in Aries season, that's because it's bringing in what's actually meant for you, you know? Uh, and then it's three, four, four. I just got a message too. At 344. So you can be seeing 344. And what this is doing as well is it's really teaching. And I won't even say teaching. Now there is rainbow bridge energy bridging the gap of the three and the five D but whatever goes on in your life. And now this is without of you two within, you know, Aries is all about. I am Aries is the first, uh, sign of the astral year. Aries is you, I, you know, so for the first half of the month, I would say is to really be in your own energy, 133. And that's kind of look at that, like the insight I've been getting as I get psychic insight, be in your own energy, just observe everything else, but be in your own energy. You know, and this is really making room within and without of us. There's still those solar flares, the Schumann Renaissance, uh, all that fun stuff. So there's a lot of energy and that's why and I've seen this a few other places as well. But I would say to stay in your own energy for the first half of April. The first half of April will be really going within. And they're asking you to center in God's love everything you do, everything you go through, everything you witness, whether that be internally, whether it be externally, centering in God's love, centering in the sacred heart of the mother of God, two, two, two. And there goes Lady Venus over here. So just centering in love, you know, with all the Pluto energy. And that, so the Pluto is giving us also a deep cleansing. It is ruled by Scorpio with the solar flares. That's what I have for you. So we'll start taking cards. Oh, Holy Spirit, Divine Mother and Father God, what do we have for the Pisces? We're going to get one more card. I have the Divine Director, Intervention and Purpose, Ooh, and that is true. Now we do have Yeshua over here. So when it comes to Aries season as well, it's redirecting your purpose. I did give a channeled message about the Akashic Realms. They're literally shifting. You know, um, I was doing a lot of Akashic Records last month. Something like switched and I felt the energy. The Akashic Realms themselves are shifting and raising in vibration as we are. Um, so every season really too is going to give you a clear vision, taking off the rose colored glasses of your purpose. You know, our purposes are, um, and the word I want to say is evolving your purpose, three, two, one, your purpose doesn't change, but as you evolve, your purpose will evolve as well as your purpose is rising in vibration. Those Akashic records, you too are raising in vibration. So things are being redirected. Intervention and purpose. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. Can I have one more card for the Pisces? We have El Mora. Awakening presence. The universe is with, with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. And then Lady Venus again downloads an understanding. Truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm. You know, so pay attention to your dream space at this time. Pay attention to the kind of the guidance, you know, that you're getting from your guides, from source, from outside sources, whatever it is. Holy Spirit, can we have another card? Forge, don't follow. Pave a new path. Be the leader you wish you had. And then we have I remember. You know, you Pisces are here. I take it as it resonates, but you Pisces are here to do something different. You're not here to follow the crowd, and that's going to be lonely. So a lot of it's coming out, so th this is a channeled message. Um, you're being, you have been giving, we all have a divine purpose, 433. You are paving a new path, Pisces. It's like when you go sledding and instead of going on, you know, the way that everyone's sledding where it's easier, you kind of made your own path. And so sometimes it stops in the middle of the hill. Sometimes it's rocky. Sometimes it's too fast. But whatever it is, Pisces, you need to understand that you're different. You're not for everyone at all. But you are a leader. 
and I'm kind of getting a picture of like the full spectrum. Like you are a leader in your own authentic voice, picture, vibration, frequency, whatever it is. You know, so there are things being redirected when it comes to purpose, maybe your purpose, Pisces, but you're not here to follow everyone else. You're here to be authentically you, no matter what that is. I remember soul plan, the fate of life versus the destiny versus destiny life. All right. We'll grab one more card and we're going to head to the tarot. Oh, wow. Pisces. I don't know how much look at initiation. You know, if you're going through something like maybe shedding emotions, there is a lot of purging during airy season, whatever it is. This is initiation for you to rise, Pisces. Paradigm shift. You're going through a paradigm shift. Then I literally, and the new blueprints, which is the Akashic Records realm. The Akashic Records are literally shifting. And this hasn't, I mean, at least like, you know, with the work I've been doing, I haven't seen the Akashic realms shift this quickly in the way that they are. There's a paradigm shift happening. You're receiving new blueprints new codes, new direction. It's new. But first you have to leave your old life. You know, I saw like a channeled message for the 22 gateway, the 222 portal leading to now. It's been a lot of an eternal death, you know, and uh, April 9th, I think was at the end of Ramadan, I believe so. So a lot of rebirth energy, but you're going through a paradigm shift and you're not here to be like everyone else. New blueprints, pave a new path, don't follow, intervention. You're also with the downloads from heaven card that was on the bottom of the deck. I do feel like you're getting guidance. It was like little whispers. You have fairies too, because I feel like I feel fairy energy. The fool, brand new start. Your energy here, Pisces, new perspective. You're getting a new perspective, but you're getting a new start with that new perspective. New, new, new for airy season. Why the fool for this card, for this, the hermit? So you're going within. What's the fool with the hermit? Seven of swords. I want to clarify that seven of swords. What's the seven of swords with the hermit? Three of cups. The empress. Bottom of the deck, three of wands. All right, with the seven of swords and the hermit and the fool. I'm getting a little bit of self-sabotage, honestly. Yeah, temperance over here. 33 seconds on the clock. Three, three, three. We have three of cups here. The Hermit going within Seven of Swords. Where are you lying to yourself? Where are you being sneaky with yourself? Where are you self-sabotaging yourself? Maybe it's a change you know you just need to make, but you're not really making it. Maybe it's um, your energy, right? Energy, energy. You know, your energy. Maybe it's your thoughts. It's a lot of Pluto energy for the first half of every season. Eighth house, Scorpio. Where are you letting things slide for yourself? Maybe within you, maybe it's you. Where are you letting things slide without you, Pisces? What's the Three of Cups? King of Pentacles. Why the King of Pentacles with that Three of Cups? Four of Cups. Um, but I'm feeling that that's your energy, Pisces, with the King of Cups. Is this, I rather the King of Pentacles. What's the King of Pentacles energy? Is this Pisces? The Magician, Nine of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Yes, it is. The King of Pentacles is your energy, Pisces, bringing stability. We are about to enter into Taurus season. So this is also preparation for Taurus season. Taurus season where, is where, you know, a lot of things are going to be manifesting for you in the earth. A lot of things and manifestations, a lot of the work you've done for air season will be earthing for Taurus season. The earth sign, uh, you know, money, things like that. So you need to kind of... It's like crossing your T's and dotting your I's with the with the hermit energy though, with the seven of swords and three of cups. Like where are you self-sabotaging your own happiness? Where you're not being completely truthful with yourself. It's all about you right there, Pisces. King of Pentacles though, you're coming into stability with the four of cups. Um, you know, we've talked about releasing lack, fear, and all of those things. It's coming in with the magician. So for those of you who are manifesting with the four of cups and the magician, try to stay in the energy of uh, gratitude and knowing you know that it's coming in even if you don't see it in the 3d 333 um, because the four cups is sometimes feeling like a missed opportunity um, but I just feel like it's delayed it's not a miss but it's delayed uh, we do have the magician nine of cups two of pentacles nine of wands you are manifesting the stability with the two of pentacles with the nine of cups you could it could be more than one form of income can I have a 
eight of wands yeah something's coming in the two of pentacles the wheel of fortune so i think you're gonna have another form of income in the next i hear three months pisces but first you need to take a look at yourself for airy season again why the king of pentacles the empress this is you pisces you know it could be a couple but i really think that this is you pisces over here And you're just releasing certain things that just don't resonate within your mind, body, and soul. Because this is coming in. Balance is coming in. A new form of income is coming in. With the Eight of Wands over the Two of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. You need to be ready to also handle this. You need to be ready to for the manifestation. You know, sometimes when it doesn't come in right away, it's because you need to prepare for it. You know, manifestation is a little bit of wishing upon a star and then doing the work in the 3D to really prepare for that. To keep it Pisces. Why the Nine of Wands? Ten of Cups, the High Priestess. Yeah, look, beautiful things are coming in, Pisces. But we do have the Devil on the bottom of the deck. Why the Ten of Cups with the High Priestess, the Star? I feel like you're healing a lot right now, Pisces. Um, magician. Nine of Wands with Ten of Cups, the Star, the High Priestess. A lot of you are healing when it comes to the family and the home like so many of you are resonating with the family readings uh a lot and it's, it was a channeled message in the beginning but i did not say it i forgot to a lot of you are dealing with karmic family situations like you're in a karmic family period you know um so with the knight of wands i kind of get the knight of wands why is the because the just the way the knight of wands is facing the two of pentacles why is the knight of wands next to the two of pentacles like that two of swords look at that Look at that. It could be exactly two people. There's two people in your family over here. There goes another one over there. Um, so for some of you, this is a side message. There are people in your family that do want to block what is coming in for you. The Knight of Wands is facing the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, kind of like it's kicking it out. Uh, and again, 12, 12 on the clock. I did forget to give that channeled message. Ace of Swords in the reverse, the Chariot. So what I'm getting is some of you have like family or people with the home that with the high priestess and the star especially with the the star like they see you maybe shining maybe they see you discovering things about the family and with the ace of swords in reverse the high priestess it's almost like they don't want you to let out the truth they don't want you to know the truth but they know that it's coming you know some of you are you know born ascended beyond beyond your parents consciousness some of you are moving beyond your parents con consciousness passing your parents ten of wands over here um there are people in your family that are deal with a cult or religion or have been abusive to you and they don't want that truth to come out. They see you flourishing, um, but it's, it is kind of like they're in a different reality. Like they just, the way that they're thinking is maybe not the truth over here. Um, and they kind of want to stop what it is that you're doing. Can I have one more card for that two of swords when it comes to the Pisces? One more card for that two of swords the lovers gemini energy or its connections you know so there are, i do feel like there's people that um want to stop you in certain ways pisces ace of cups over here but it can't happen because that's your ace of cups why is the ace of swords in reverse right there the sun so although the truth or maybe there's some people that don't want the truth to come out and we did say truth is being revealed um this is going to happen anyway you know that's the harp energy so that high vibration and frequency pisces the sun which is enlightenment leo energy why the star over here for the pisces ace of wands this is for you pisces i really do feel like you're shining and embodying some fire energy these cards fell out not face up so i'm not going to take them and with the ace of wands so they have the knight of wands over here i feel like this is your family home situation however this resonates with you these people that do kind of want to block you 33 seconds they just don't agree with what you're doing maybe over here the wheel of fortune is going to turn anyway with the knight of wands though they have this little wand and you have the ace of wands that's because you're living in your god purpose 1444 I feel like there's some people in your life, Pisces, who maybe don't think that you are truly living in your purpose. We do have intervention and purpose. We have new blueprints. We have 
form a new path, pave, don't follow, be the leader you wish you had. You know, so for some of you, you're being the leader you wish you had because I do feel like you're dealing with a lot of karmic family stuff. For others of you, you're dealing with connections of people who just look at you and maybe they question what you do. Maybe they question your energy, whatever it is. But this is what you're here to do, Pisces. There's this little wand of people with their opinions um, who, you know, no one could tell you what God is telling you. You know, if this is your true divine purpose, no one can stop that no matter what they do, Pisces. You know, and you have the Ace of Wands, you have the star over here, uh, you have the High Priestess, you have the sun on your side. Ace of Swords is in reverse. I, I don't think they want you to come out with the truth, you know. Uh, for some of you, you really are breaking chains when it comes to family. And that's why you have to be honest with yourself over here. The Fool, the Hermit, and the Seven of Swords. Being honest with yourself and being ready to take on that new adventure. We have, again, pave a new path and we have the fool. So you're starting, for some of you, a new adventure, you know, or a new endeavor, or just a new version of you. Yeah, death right over here. The old version died. The new version is here. We have four of pentacles in reverse. Why the four of pentacles in reverse? Ten of pentacles. Stop holding back, Pisces. We have ten of wands. When you hold back your authentic self... You burden yourself. And that's a lot of that Seven of Swords energy. It's like, where are you in your own way, Pisces? Where are you burdening yourself and allowing other people look at that strength over here to kind of get in the way to tell you what your purpose is and who you are? Four of Pentacles. It's time to finally let go of whatever it is that you're holding on to because that Ten of Pentacles is here for you, Pisces. One card for the Ten of Pentacles for the Pisces. Seven of Cups. I do feel like, again, multiple sources of income. Queen of Pentacles over here. You'll have more than one source of income and all of this is a divine test as well in preparing you for this next chapter and this new journey that you'll be on. I do feel like things are shifting in your life. You know, it is for the better though, Pisces. Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. You will have multiple options, adjacent possibilities here, Pisces. Uh, again, a new stream of income is coming. You know, but first you have to make room 711. Can I have advice for the Pisces? Six of Swords. You're coming out of troubled waters, and to know that. We do have the Emperor here as well. You're coming out of troubled waters, Pisces, and into calmer waters. Might be in the eye of the storm, you know, so... Whatever it is for you, you know, whatever is going on in your life, whoever's involved, just remember to center in love because beautiful things are coming in. One more card of advice. Look at that, the devil. God is taking you, look at that, the tower. God is taking you away from what doesn't resonate. Why is the six of swords and the devil together? Six of wands. And it's like you're holding that up. It's like, look what I did. You know? So six of swords and the devil. You're making your way away from those troubled waters. Overcoming something. Breaking something. Breaking some sort of chain. There are chains over here. Right here, Pisces. So you're breaking some sort of chain. Making change. And you will have a victory. And it's going to be in front of the people who were trying to hold you back. Right over here is what I'm getting. So that could be family. It could be whatever it is for you, Pisces. But you will have this victory. It's like God will prepare a table before me in front of my enemies kind of energy. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I'm going to grab just a few cards of advice. Holy Spirit, what kind of advice do we have? The inner voice. Listen to your inner voice, Pisces. We do have the miracle of forgiveness on the bottom of the deck. And transformation. Inner voice. Thank you, angels, for guiding me through my inner voice. Archangel Zadkiel. Thank you, Zadkiel, for supporting me to transform from my past challenges. You are transforming at this time, Pisces. It's um, The butterfly effect comes to mind. You know, they actually want me to grab some charms. All right, Holy Spirit, to end this reading... All right, so we have the lotus flower. You know, that could mean something to you. Maybe you have a tattoo. Also, the lotus flower in each of our chakras has a certain amount. Um, I do feel like there is some sort of enlightenment here. So just take all of it as it resonates. We have a crown and we have a key. You know, this is yours, Pisces, and no one could take away your crown. If your crown's a little bit crooked, adjust it. And you have a key. The key to yourself. The key to inner ancient wisdom. 
For some of you, maybe you're changing homes. Whatever the key means to you, as it can mean so many things, the key of life. Um, but that's what I have for you, Pisces. I'm also getting over here your royal. Um, I'm going to get one more. Look at that, the sun, generational tree, and then we have a shell. Aphrodite energy, Yamoha energy. Some of you have like braids or locks with shells, like conch shells in it. Or some of you do conch shells, reading take it as it resonates. I have an ancestral tree in the sun. You're very royal Pisces, you know, and um, so just take that as it resonates too, because that's what's coming out. But that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope this resonates. I'm sending you so much love and so many blessings.